It's the highlight of the season for many of the island's aspiring young footballers. And their parents, too. With a format reminiscent of the FIFA World Cup, thousands descend upon the National Sports Center every year for the annual Kappa Classic. I think the Kappa tournament brings together all walks of life in Bermuda. Um, you can get 10,000 people at National Stadium over uh, the three days or, or more, and people are there to celebrate their children, cheer on their children, enjoy themselves while they're not watching their children. It's a social as well. Um, there's a lot of things going on at National Stadium over the next three days. Open to ages ranging from under sevens to under fifteens, for the boys and girls taking part, it's their moment to shine. The Kappa Classic is a celebration of football, for youth football, and everybody's aim is to bring our best and enjoy ourselves together. There can only be one winner in each age group, um, but getting there is a, a, is a journey. Everybody who comes will see a lot of positive energy, a lot of talent, a lot of skill, and all the emotions and ups and downs that go together with winning, drawing, and losing. The Kappa Classic is the brainchild of Mr. Troy Harvey. Due to what he saw as the lack of tournament opportunities for the peewees of the sport, 25 years ago, he and his fraternity brothers created the Kappa Alpha Psi Peewee Extravaganza, the precursor to today's classic. I had used to carry these bags of portable goals that you had to put together and, and, and erect and then, you know, mark a field out with cones. And that happened from Somerset to St. George's and all in between, um, growing the notion of this PV football as it was then. Mr. Harvey's son, Jalen Harvey, who was the inspiration behind that first tournament, would later go on to represent Bermuda on the world stage as a member of the senior men's national squad, as have many others who have competed in Kappa over the decades. And the 2024 edition promises to be the biggest one yet. A whopping 117 teams will be competing in this year's Kappa Classic, a far cry from the 10 or so teams that took part in that first edition of the event at Bernard Park back in 1999. And the rise in the tournament's popularity over the years has even taken the founders by surprise. I don't know if we saw it being as big and grandiose as it is now. Um, we within the small limits that we had. It started at Bernard Park, at you know, Village Field. Um, it has grown now where it can be nowhere else other than the National Sports Center. Um, the vision then was to facilitate a, a tournament for the children, and it still is the same. Although only one team per category can be crowned the winner at the end of the three-day extravaganza, thanks to the positive energy and long-lasting memories Kappa creates, organizers feel it's a win for Bermuda as a whole. Julie Matthews-Borchard for Bermuda Broadcasting News.